What up, Nibbas? D-Balls here. And today we're going to be reviewing the most recent chapter of Dragon Ball Super. Let's get to it. So, starting off, we see Goku and Moro throwing the ones. It's some interesting moments that happens here, and I feel like this uh, finale to the arc really was good. Way better than before this. The chapter before this was, yeah, this chapter was, okay? We have a lot of GOAT moments, like Vegeta being of assistance, like I theorized he would be, just not in the way that I originally thought he would be in the si of assistance, but still, same diff. We see Oob have some importance, and we actually see him, like, you know, in the story again after we seen him, I think, in the Tournament of Power, if I'm remembering correctly. That's when he last time popped up. And then we have uh, Whis doing a little bit of helping. We have Beerus being like, yo, I help. And people use this to scale Beerus higher. Now, I'm going to speak on that in another vid. But, yeah, Beerus has this moment. He's like, yo, I'm going to help out. And then, you know, um, Whis even helps out a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Not, not doing anything crazy. Just... A teeny bit of assistance. We also know that um, Beerus had to dip because of Mira specifically in that whole situation. So I'm wondering how that's going to go about. I'm I'm assuming Mira's may be coming back through the means of just saying that, you know, it was something that he needed to be a part of or some crap like that. I feel like Mira's is definitely coming back. I overall love MUI. MUI just feels badass. We see it doing things that Goku never did previously in his battle with Jiren. Which is like, he made like a fucking Susano. It's a Susano. I don't care what no one says. People be saying like, oh, it's the Piccolo move. It's not the Piccolo move. Piccolo turned big, right? But he literally grew. Goku was making like an aura. A, a fucking aura, right? Of, of, I'm guessing like the divine energy. And like basically literally making a Susano. Like he's making a aura armor that enhances his stats, right? Or I won't say it enhances his stats, but... Logically, I'm going with the assumption that since he's bigger, he's of course stronger to battle world and have like a fucking kaiju battle, and that was that was tight. That was that was tight. Vegeta doing um the reverse of his spirit fishing, and I, I think it's like called spirit uh, union. It's like really cool, right? How he can like gather people's actual energy and then throw it at someone else and then give it to them. Now, of course, if Vegeta was a different individual, this ability would be really fucking stupid. Like, really stupid. But from the way it's presented, it seems like he has to do it, um, you know, uh, with someone offering their energy. Because he didn't just take Oob's energy. He had to, like, uh, the Grand Kai, right, the Fat Kai, had to specifically go to Oob and make him put, pull his hand out and offer it up. So it definitely seems like something he needs permission for in the same vein of, like, Spirit Bomb. But it is cool that basically Vegeta has, like, his own version of Spirit Bomb, but it's just a bit different. It don't seem like he does anything offensive. It, it, it comes off 100% support, but that's cool. It's something different. It gives Vegeta some uniqueness. I'm messing with it 100%. I feel like the finale to this arc was really cool. Goku, like, ending off the chapter with a little... It was just tight. Like, that was just tight. It was tight. Um, overall, this was a 10 out of 10 chapter. I have honestly nothing to complain about. The action was cool. Seeing uh, Vegeta have some spotlight was cool. MUI was beast. You know, seeing Uba again was really tight. I have, like, literally no complaints here. It was really cool. Like, like seriously, this chapter was tight to me. Let me know you guys' thoughts in the, in, the, in the comments. My brain just fucking imploded. Let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, all that basic YouTuber shit, right? Love you. Peace out, Nibbus.